A couple of the things that Dr. Calhoun, the president, invoked upon the membership for the planning committee was to try to make the days a bit shorter, allow for families and others to have time in San Diego to enjoy themselves, and also to really spend time thinking about having residents, fellows, and trainees as part of the program. And I think we've done a good job of meeting those requirements. First of all, we're back in person after so many years of being um, virtual. So I think it's gonna be nice to just have a human connection again. Second, I'm really excited about the immersive video experiences that uh, we're going to have. I think for a society as broad as the Society of Thoracic Surgeons, everyone has their subspecialty interests. And so I would answer that question by saying the sessions are very much defined by controversial topics in each of our subspecialty areas. There's four of them. I know on the adult cardiac side, we have Joe Caselli uh, doing uh, complex aortic arch reconstruction, um, Tom Wen doing minimally invasive mitral repair, and Ismail El Hamamsi doing ROS procedure. I think the session subspecialty leads have done a fantastic job of identifying controversial topics and inviting appropriate invited discussants and speakers as well as abstracts that have been submitted that focus upon these controversies within each of the subspecialties. I think it's going to be just very engaging and interactive, a chance to hear these you know, great surgeons talk about how they approach these operations, patient selection, tips and tricks, pitfalls, um, so that the people who are attending can take a lot away from that and implement things into their own practice. I think for two reasons. There isn't an annual meeting where I don't walk away having learned something new, thought about something differently, or gained a unique perspective about how perhaps another surgeon or institution is tackling a problem. And I think the second biggest reason is it always leaves me energized because I know that I can be a better clinician, a better surgeon, a better partner, and a better person within the field of thoracic surgery by all the things that I learn at a conference. I feel energized by seeing my old friends, colleagues, people who trained me. I feel like I'm with my people. We speak the same language. I always come away from that meeting thinking of a, a million new ideas of things that I want to do, whether it's clinically or research-wise. Uh, I think the pandemic taught us a lot about mechanisms by which we can communicate not together, but virtually, the ability to really have a broadened perspective about how things may be done at different institutions and really find joy and excitement and commonalities in terms of challenges we face and the successes we have as cardiothoracic surgeons. We have some very creative session formats. It's not going to be abstract after abstract after abstract, lots of discussion, some debate, expert commentary, um, of course, great abstracts that have been submitted. Um, and accepted as well as uh, videos. So I think there's a lot for everybody.